everyone, I hope you're all well. So as on the title, I am going to be doing a Poundland haul. I haven't been to Poundland in ages. I actually ventured to the one in Salisbury and I was pleasantly surprised. They have so much stuff. Um, I try not to go too crazy. Um, obviously the Halloween theme is out in full force, but because I haven't like pulled my Halloween box out yet from the loft, I didn't want to get too much because I know, I mean, I've got a massive crate full of Halloween stuff. So I know I had already have got quite a lot. I may go back there in a couple of weeks, depending on if I haven't got enough stuff. But um, yeah, there's other stuff in here, not just Halloween stuff. So I'm just gonna pick things out one by one. I spent 38 pounds, which means I got 38 items, which is always cool to know. Um, yeah, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is some magic erasers. I actually just got rid of the ones that I had. They were torn up and just well worn out. So I got a couple more. These are the, the remove stains without detergent. I don't know what these do, honestly. Just add water. You can cut them down if you want to. Um, honestly, they work wonders on my white sink, my white bath, anything. If you get like a crayon on your walls or just anything, these work an absolute treat without kind of like ruining the item, whether it's a wall, it doesn't scrub or anything. Um, yeah, I love these and I needed some new ones. So that was a two pack for a pound. I also got some toothpaste randomly. I've got three lots of toothpaste. So me and Grey like this one. This is the Colgate plus sugar and acid neutralizer. Uh, maximum protection. I always use Colgate. That's one brand I never fail to like not use. I always use them and have done for years. Uh, that's one of our faves, that was a pound. And then I always get the kids the Colgate Junior. So I used to actually buy this version of the kids, I think it was called Colgate Kids, but um, they have gone off the taste. So I started buying this one, it's for ages six plus, and actually this can be quite hard to find. I was in Sainsbury's a few weeks ago and they only had ages three to five. Um, so the six years plus, obviously my two are six and over. So um, yeah, they love this one. It's not too strong and yeah, it works a treat and I usually buy two packs every time I go there. I got a random air freshener. I have no idea if it smells any good, but it looks like sunflower. So that is going in my car. Let's get some bits that actually go together. So I got some shampoo and conditioner. I'm in need of some different stuff. You know, when you just, I find if I use the stuff constantly, I find that it just, either weighs my hair down, doesn't really do anything for my hair. I need to kind of switch things up a bit here and there, like every month or so. So I thought I would go for the Herbal Essences um, Natural Glow Dazzling Shine Shampoo. So this one is in Lime Essence. So it says on there. Um, I thought I would get this one compared to the others because a lot of them are either kind of volumizing or for your coloured hair. Um, I just wanted to get one which was quite clarifying and this one kind of read that description. I like something that's really gives my hair squeaky clean and it doesn't make my hair greasy really quickly because I have quite oily hair and it's naturally quite fine so it goes quite flat as well. So anyway, I got these, um, the shampoo and conditioner to try. So moving on to some like birthday type stuff. So Violet's birthday is coming up. She's actually having a little slumber party movie night. We're not having people to stay over. I still feel like ages six and seven is still quite young to have little girls over. I, I reckon it would just turn into a bit of chaos. So she's, everyone's coming over in like onesies and PJs. We're gonna do a few games for an hour and then we're gonna do sit down and do a movie, which I think is gonna be super cool. But yeah, I've got a few things for her birthday. So um, I got one or two of these platters. I thought that would really come in handy so I can do some snacky stuff, some dips in there, healthy treats. I'm gonna do like a healthy one and like a sweet platter as well um because i'm mad like that and then also i saw this so um i've got some i've got a i've got a helium canister and i wanted to get um you know some of those weights for the balloons because i bought a couple of balloons and then i spotted this this is basically a centerpiece but also has the weight on it so you can attach balloons to it this is just really glittery and pink and yeah, I thought it would be kind of like the girly theme that she's kind of going for. So again, that was a pound and they do this in a couple of different colors as well. 
Um, they actually have loads of really cool birthday stuff for all different ages and genders. Okay, keeping on the birthday theme, I got her some unicorn um, cups. I thought that was quite good value. I think this is a pack of 20, which is quite good. Um, I've already got her pink plates and pink napkins but i did pick up some spotty ones as well these these napkins actually match the um tablecloth that i got her from sainsbury's i got that reduced um they literally match it it's identical so i thought i would get those as well again it's just really girly and then for a pass the parcel prize poundland is perfect for that it's literally just girls coming to her party so i went down the unicorn route these were all a pound each uh there's unicorn poo there's a unicorn stationery set which i thought is quite sweet and then also a unicorn a pencil case so they're a pound each and they're going to be perfect pass to parcel gifts um they also have loads and loads of birthday cards like different types of cards really nice ones so these were two for one pounds i got two boyish ones uh, have an awesome birthday and happy birthday or birthday boy i thought they were quite nice we have so many birthdays coming up this time of year and then also the two girly ones which again were really really sweet designs so that's the birthday stuff out the way and then i also got a couple of wax melts these are airwick ones so this one is what is it called driftwood sea salt so i've got a wax warmer i actually got it from ebay but it's a yankee one it just plugs in and you can stick your um, wax melts in it fragrance is the room i actually have it in the kitchen and literally it spreads around the whole house so yeah i got this one and then i also got this one which is uh, baked pear pie crust and vanilla they were a pound each and lastly now i'm just going to show you a lot of halloweeny sort of things um this is actually for these are sticky men Violet actually got a couple of these in a different party bag that she went to and I saw these. These are like really random little men that stick to things. So they're really good party bag um, fillers. I am actually going to be doing a separate uh, video on what I'm putting in the party bags because I did that last year and the uh, video was really, really popular. Um, yeah, so I will do that. I also got some glow sticks. These are a 20 pack for a pound. They're also going in the party bags. Um, I got these really large battery operated light up glow sticks. Again, these are a pound each and these are gonna be perfect for lots of different things, but especially when we go to a firework night, everyone has like these glowing things and honestly, you can pay like five to 10 pounds each per one. So they're just gonna bring these. And we had these from last year and they light up really, really well. As you can see, they're really long ones. Um, so we've got those. A couple of uh, decorations. I picked up this spooky um, ghost decoration. He's 38 centimeters and it's basically just flat pack and you just pop him out and hang him up. I also got some Halloween balloons. I know I already have some, but I'm not sure how many. So I got some more. This is an 18 pack um, and some of them have scary faces on. Again, I'm gonna pop some helium in these so they can stand up and I can dot them around or whatever. Um, I got a couple of table decorations. These are actually really sweet and they have so many to choose from. I was kind of undecided which ones to pick, but these were kind of the same height and they weren't too tacky um so yeah i got the ghost one was a pound and then obviously this one was a pound this little lantern um and you can put the little tea lights in the back I ended up getting the battery operated ones i just thought it's just better to be safer than sorry um i don't i'm not sure if the batteries come in them they probably do actually i also got this spider glitter banner i thought that was quite cool Hopefully you can see that. It's just a little bit glittery. I think I'm going to pop this in the kitchen. I have like a little um, picture shelf and I think I'm going to drape it underneath and maybe put some spooky ornaments at the top. So I always do a little Halloween basket or just a little little gathering of stuff like Halloweeny treat stuff 
for over half term for the children. We already have baskets. We literally probably already have lots of other things to go in the basket from previous years. I always just bring them back out and stuff them again with the same stuff. But I have got some newer bits as well. So I picked up these little um, light up squidges. So you just kind of bash them. There's one ghost and one pumpkin. I thought they were quite cool. These always get really hairy and weird though after a while. I got Alistair some coloured hair gel. They did loads of different colours. He is so into like doing his hair at the moment. It's hilarious. He's really, really growing up. It's just scary. So I thought this would be a bit of fun. He is most likely going to be a Frankenstein over Halloween and green hair gel would just top it off, I think. And obviously I decorate his face. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna put that in his little Halloween basket this year. I also got some green and red makeup. I have a whole bag of different types of um, face paints, but I'm definitely lacking, especially on the green, so I thought I would get some more. They have a huge choice, by the way, like lots and lots to choose from. The last few items, I'm actually gonna be putting some of this stuff into the Halloween baskets, but also some of it is gonna be going into the party bags. Obviously Violet's birthday is the 30th of October, so it's pretty much on Halloween. Her birthday party is the 27th, so we're still on Halloween. I'm gonna have all the decks up and everything still. So I have got some Halloween-y type things that will be going in. Um, they've got a 10 pack of bouncy eyeballs for a pound, which is an absolute bargain. So the girls are gonna have those, one each in there. They have these really cool different um, hollow chocolate treats. So they've got some with like pumpkins on, some with like spooky ghosts and skeletons. And then this bag is just full of chocolate eyeballs. So they're gonna get one each of those. For the kids' Halloween baskets, I'm actually gonna stick some of these um, chocolate spiders in there. And then last item, some Casper popping candy. They're all different flavors, as you can see from the bottom. There are strawberry, orange, apple, and cherry. They're spooky Casper designs, and I'm gonna, again, divvy them up into the um, Halloween baskets and also the party bags. So that is pretty much everything I got from Poundland. I think I've done really well. I feel like I didn't overdo it, but I got some really useful bits. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you are doing a Halloween party or do you do Halloween baskets? Is there any traditions that you do around Halloween? Um, I feel like it's getting bigger and bigger every year. Um, we absolutely love Halloween. I think more so because it's right on Violet's birthday. So it kind of feels like we need to really celebrate it and just, I don't know, get into the mood. Um, again, I just love decorating the house anyway. I just find it really exciting. Um, yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have and I will see you all soon.